Hey everyone, it's me, Stacey and Cole here with this and it's Grabs, and I'm back with a fun basher stash idea. So, it's that time of year again. Every September to January, I only use my stash. And to get prepared for that, I try to make the most of the things that I have and try to get it condensed, try to cut up whatever used stickers I have. So let me walk you through the first and foremost thing I do. Any cut apart sheets that I bought for the last year, I do try to get cut apart. I'm really bad, very bad about buying cut apart sheets. And I mean, I had a lot. And I kind of try to cut them down where they, I could condense them to cut them down easier for myself so I don't have to deal with that big old 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I do need to cut down all these. And then some of them I could use for ephemera, some of them I could use for cards and such, but I need to go through and cut them down. That's the first step. <laughs> and the second step is go through paper pads. And here's a few that I've gone through. I need to go through all my 6x6 and 6x8 paper pads and go through. Um, I've been having a really big issue with using Amy Tangerine. Her bright colors, bold patterns, I have an issue with. I need to decide if I'm going to try to use this for the rest of the year or go ahead and donate it. Um, things like this one, I only have a couple pages left. I'm going to try to use up um, from September to December, September to January, whatnot. This one is falling apart. Um, but again, try to use these up. And, and this is another thing I need to go through um, my paper pads that I have grabbed. And if they do have cut apart like this one did, go ahead and cut those apart. So that is my other step that I do. I used to cut all of my um, scraps down to 3 by 4 and 4 by 6 and it was tedious because I have a lot of scraps and I do have a lot of scraps and I do need to go through those scraps and do punches and that is another step I do. Um, I have a big old tub, I try to show it but it's too big to show, but I have a big old tub full of scraps, I need to go through, decide what I'm doing with those decide if I'm going to try to punch stuff out and I'll probably do that. I'll sit in front of the TV and I'll have my paper in one pile and I'll have my punches in another pile and I will just sit there punching away for hours and then I'll take a little caddy down there and just fill it up. Um, so I'll probably do that. So that's the next step. Use your scraps. Get them used up. I, like I said, I do not um, cut them down any longer. Because I was really bad about using my Project Life cards, yet alone the scraps that I cut down. So, trying to focus on using Project Life cards as well. Especially since I bought so many core kits after Becky Higgins kind of went out and said she wasn't making them anymore. So, use your scraps. Use your scraps, punch them, do whatever. And then, oh this one's fun. This one's so fun. Yeah, do you hear my sarcasm? Cut down all your used sticker sheets. And I do have a lot of used sticker sheets. And I mean, I have a pile of them. And then not only do I have a pile of those somewhere down here, is I have some digitals that I need to cut apart as well so it doesn't go wasted. I bought all these digitals and I printed them out and I never did anything with them. I think uh, the Heidi Swap art, art walk or something was in here and I got some Dear Lizzie, so I need to cut all those down. It's, it's just a tedious process, I'll be honest. But let me move out of the way. So once you have that done, oh, you're going to end up with a big old pile like this. Do you guys see this? And I haven't even got nearly none of this done. And I'll be honest, some of this is from my kits, like my most recent kit. Um, I just chucked it in here along with this because I got to sort all this by collar. I have all my ephemera sorted by collar and then I make my kits with the collar. Um, ephemera is getting out of hand. I have a big old pink drawer that I can barely even shut anymore. And I think I have three green little drawers as well as three green blue drawers. So it definitely needs to be condensed. Now last year I don't think I got to use my stash. Um, and the year before I'm kind of cursed I'll be honest. Um, the one year I had a stroke, I, mean, I had like four or five mini strokes, technically not a stroke with mini strokes. And then the other year I had pneumonia. So I'm usually cursed when it comes to using my stash. 
But also, you also have your sash for like fall and Christmas, and I have to go through all that as well. But that is the last step I do is go through my holiday stash, and I sort out the used stuff from the new stuff. I try to use the used stuff more so than the new. But that's what I do every year to bash my stash, guys. And boy, do I have a stash to bash. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Have a great night.